If you or someone you know has diabetes, you may have built up an excess supply of test strips and lancets. That's where we come in. We'll buy the supplies that you don't need and resell them to those in need to prevent waste. Help us make diabetes management more affordable. Visit us at teststripswithaz.com. All right, we have the victorious Mario Batista joining the program, who was one half of the fight of the night at UFC San Antonio on Saturday night. He took on Jin Su Sun, and he got the win in impressive fashion in a really entertaining matchup. Mario, how are you, man? I'm doing good, just uh, recovering, recovering. Yeah. How does it all feel? I mean, you go out, you get that elusive first UFC win taken care of, get a nice little bonus to boot. That was some fight in San Antonio, wasn't it? Yeah, man, it was just uh, it was just all crazy to see it come together, uh, all the hard work, and then you know to get a nice uh, a nice little payday at the end of it. it just uh, it was all worth it. You made your UFC debut on short notice, took on a surging contender in Corey Sanhagen. It was a fight that didn't go your way, but I'm sure you were at least able to take some things away from that fight and the fight week itself. How would you describe your first UFC fight week, and and what did you take away from it? Uh, the one. In New York, I mean, um, just getting familiar with uh, how everything ran, um, that, you know, that process, and the actual fight itself, being in the cage, uh, once I got in there, just um, just felt comfortable, and the second time through, just, just felt even more comfortable and, and more prepared. It was a great learning experience, and it showed on Saturday night in San Antonio. How much better did you feel making that walk to the octagon, considering you had a full camp, and you got... To really take the time to, to prepare for this fight. Oh, I felt awesome. I just, uh, yeah, like had six weeks to train, um, had a good game plan. Uh, you know, I, I felt, you know, very confident coming into that. Uh, that fight had a great corner with me that this time. So, I mean, it was, uh, it was perfect. This fight was a battle for the entire 15 minutes. I mean, you threw everything you had at each other. It was a true war of attrition in there. It was a really entertaining fight, some high-level stuff. How much fun did you have in there competing and, and being in such a fun fun like uh, fun fight fight like that? It, it was super fun. Um, about halfway through the first, uh, once I kind of figured, like, we might go 15, um, I just knew I just had to put the output. And then uh, it was fun. It was, you know... Uh, son is a real tough guy and he was there for 15 minutes and let me showcase my skills and man it was just a, a heck of a night did anything surprise you at all in the fight was there anything that he brought in there that that threw you off at all did you feel like you were in any compromising spots throughout that fight um his chin uh <laughs> it surprised me i hit him with i hit him pretty pretty hard with everything i had and he was still standing there um and then also um just uh, um, in the clinch because we thought that's where he would be his strongest, um, and I was able to you know get the get the better of that those positions, which that was a surprise to me. When the fight was over and you were officially announced the winner, what did that mean to you? What was going on in your mind as the referee was raising your arm to the sky? Oh man, it was it was such a relief. You know, we we're both in a in a tough position. We both had they're top ten guys now. Uh, but we had tough debuts, um, and I just kind of felt like we were almost fighting for our jobs, and and it was such a relief. I mean, I I think I just wanted it more, and and that's what I was feeling uh, right after the fight. I was talking to Jonathan Martinez last week, and I asked him about his fight at, at UFC Sacramento, and you know how the rest of the card played out because he had a sensational finish, and you and Jin went out there and had the the most fun fight on the card, in my opinion. Did the thought of a bonus start to creep in your mind? Were you kind of in the back of your mind hoping that the rest of the card would, I guess, kind of play out the, the way that it did? Uh, once I got to the back and everyone just, you know, complimenting me and saying it was a good fight, and then they started making remarks like, fight of the night, fight of the night. And I just got to thinking, like, man, it, it, it could be. We still got 10 fights to go, so hopefully hopefully nothing crazy happens. And then uh, by each fight, just it just my confidence grew and, uh, by the end of the fight, I, we figured we, we had the we had the bonus. You get your first win, you get your first bonus. Is it safe to say that this was the the best night of your career? Oh, absolutely! Uh, first win in the UFC uh, against a tough opponent um, and a nice paycheck. Man, it was it's the best one so far. In terms of 
what are you what are you gonna do from here? I mean, you got some some bumps and bruises. Are you gonna try to smell the roses, enjoy the fruits of your labor, so to speak, after the fight, or are you just kind of fired up to get back in the gym and get ready for the next one, the first chance you can get? Oh, absolutely. Just uh, definitely recover first and uh, and get healed up and get back into practice and then get my body, um, you know, prepared for another camp. And uh, definitely probably, at the very least, just want to get one more in before the end of the year. And uh, that's what I'm looking forward towards. Is there any particular card that you're looking at? Because there's some some big ones coming up throughout the year. Is there anyone you're looking at in particular? Like, I hope I can get on that one. I'm sure it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. But is there one in particular that if you get the call, you're jumping on it right away? You just, you hope it's that one? Uh, I haven't looked at anything yet. But if there's any cards in Vegas, um, you know, towards the end of the year, I I would love to fight in Vegas. I'm I'm from a small town about seven miles uh, or seven hours north of Vegas. So I think that'd be awesome to stay close to home, and uh, hopefully the fight that I had is you know worthy enough for a, uh, you know for me to fight in Vegas on a on a nice card. I was talking to Kyle Stewart yesterday, who's getting ready to fight on Saturday, and what one of the things one of the things he talked about was you know there's a, a lot of changes going on at the MMA lab, and you guys debuted on the same card. You had very similar circumstances, short notice fights. Yeah. Both fights got finished in the first round, not in your favor, unfortunately. But you know he was pretty bummed out after that, and he said he was really pissed off, and he took it took it into the training room, and kind of seeing what you've been able to do, what David Mashad's been able to do, bouncing back in the PFL, the guys in the Contender Series earning contracts. He said that's really inspired him. It's really got him motivated and fired up. What does that mean to you, knowing that? You know, considering people have left the MMA lab, you guys are still kind of trucking forward, and you're you're motivating each other in all these ways you may not even have been aware of. Yeah, I mean, all right, we got Mario Batista back. That Arizona heat is a little is a little something, isn't it? Yeah, it's uh, it'll turn your phone right off. <laughs> so, so I was asking you about talking to Kyle and. You know, everything that's been going on at the gym, getting motivation from guys like yourself, guys like David Mashad. You know, what does that mean to you to be able to motivate and inspire a guy like Kyle and, and do that for everybody else in the gym when you may not even be aware of it? Yeah, and, you know, even though we had changes at the gym, we still have, like, a good good group of uh, guys that are the core main, you know. Um, and, you know, it, it's the program's the same, you know. Uh, we're still working hard. And just to see everyone, we're just building on that momentum. And I know Kyle's going to do great. You know, he's one of the hardest working guys in our gym, and he's sticking to the program. He's working on his weaknesses. Um, so we're just going to continue to move forward and, and be successful. Have you seen a change in Kyle at all from January to now? I mean, I was just watching, like, different interviews with him heading into it. He was happy. He was bubbly, his bubbly self like he normally was. But yesterday when I talked to him, he was – the switch had been flipped. He was all fired up. He was a lot more serious, a lot more ready to fight. Not saying that he wasn't ready to fight before, but it was it was a different kind of a guy. Have you noticed a a little bit of a of a different hunger in him over the last couple of weeks? Yeah, like definitely a hunger to you know to work on his weaknesses and whatever it may be. It's just uh, he's very determined, you know, and uh, he has a very good work ethic, you know. So. Um, I'm excited for him. You know, I think with same thing with me. Like when you have a camp, you're just you're just more confident in your your preparation, and and uh, I think he's going to be ready for this weekend. I think so as well. Mario Batista joining us in the program, coming off a big win and a fifty thousand dollar fight of the night bonus on top of that at UFC San Antonio on Saturday. Always appreciate the time, man. Congratulations on the win. Before we get out of here, let the folks know where they can follow along with you on this journey via social media. Any shout-outs, anything else you want to get off your chest, the floor is yours. Yeah, on Instagram, it's going to be Mario underscore Bautista MMA. Uh, Twitter, Bautista underscore MMA. And I just want to thank the MMA lab, all my teammates, my my manager, Jason House, and everyone that's just supported me all the way uh, up to this point. Congratulations, Mario. Fantastic fight. Enjoy that bonus. Enjoy the the healing up time. We'll see you back in there, hopefully in Vegas in December. Uh, Hopefully. Thank you.